Hello everyone and welcome back to Sousa Plays. It's time to play our 8th game in the World Cup Qualifier League of GOBBLN. We are currently in 4th place I believe and we're going up against the player who is in 3rd place and while only the top 2 qualify, some of the 3rd place finishers are also going to qualify. So this is a pretty important game. If we can win this one, we will we will be in third place, I think. I haven't checked the we'll check the standings right in a second. Uh, we're playing as Lizage. For those of you who haven't followed uh, the earlier season, we haven't gotten many level ups on our sources. But we have God on the Croxigore. We're gonna need it because we're playing against Bretonians today and I believe our opponent has gotten some guard pickups. I've also went with uh, Sneaky Git on one of our skinks and then I got another level on that skink because he keeps getting the MVP. And the only real real good uh, level up we've had is a strength level up for one of our skinks. So, uh, well... It's not a very good team so far, and we've been certainly been passed by a few of the other teams who have picked up more skills than we have, and also our skills are quite few. The strength is interesting, it's helpful on a skink, but you kind of need something else as well. Three strength is uh, decent, but you need something else to make the skink useful. We also have three rerolls, and I picked up an apothecary to protect that skink. But uh, yeah, our win record is not very good. It's kind of uh, strange that we actually have a chance to finish third in this in this uh, group, even though we're not even close to having a 50% record. And there are two teams who've ran aw ran away with this division, and I believe it's almost. Oh, uh, my opponent is online, so we might start soon. Let's have a quick look at at the league so far. All right, you can't see it here. I remember because you. This is only the result. These are only the results from uh, the second half of the tournament. Right. I'll have to check the leaderboard somewhere else then. We'll do that after the game, maybe. So we're just going to play against these Bretonians. Let's go back and then we'll see them right here. We played them once before, I believe it was a tie. Looks like he has a wounded lineman, but he's going to get another one as a replacement. He has picked up sure hands, uh, leader, so one more reroll, uh, plus the two he already has, so he also has three. He has tackle, which will be dangerous for our skinks, and he's gotten guard on two of his blockers. That's um, better than we ever did with our Bretonians on the 20 game season of the Open League. As soon as we got a player with block, uh, or a player with guard rather, uh, they uh, died or got injured, so we had to replace them. Mighty Blow could be dangerous. And also he has, of course, Dauntless, which would be a pain for our Sauruses. So, tough game ahead. So he will actually have 1190. You, you won't get that much money. How much money do you have? 70. He could probably pick up something, but he's definitely going to get a Bloodwiser, babe. But other than that, not too much. Let me check if he's ready to play. He should be streaming the game, I believe. Let's see if he's started his stream. Yes, he has. So I guess he's ready to play then. Let me pause the video and I'll be back as soon as the game is about to start. Oh, too many windows. Okay, here we go. 
Pause. Okay, I'll see you back in a second. And it looks like he's ready to go. I just checked out his stream. He uh, replaced his injured lineman with a new lineman, so we don't have to worry about him buying any inducements. He actually even said that he wasn't going to spend his money on anything else. So, uh, we're probably only looking at a Bloodweiser babe. So, I thought he would... He would... Uh, perhaps... Want to start? And yes, he did. Okay, we're not gonna get anything. We already checked out his team, so we can skip this. He gets a free Bloodwise Babe, and uh, that's it. Ready to go. So, what I do know is that we should definitely try to win this game if we want to have any chance at all of qualifying. We have uh, the group leaders, the, the Dark Elves, in our final game, and we have the Dwarves in our next game. I guess we could, could theoretically win them. Let's say hello, and have fun. And also... This is his team. And uh, this is the coin toss. He's going to choose to start on defense. Alright. And uh, let me get acquainted with my message here. Yeah. When you only play one game a week sort of forget your team in between. Now it's going to be tough to deal with his blitzers. You're not going to be able to to avoid them hitting us with block and dauntless. They can take out our sources. But the sources can take them out as well. So it's, it all comes down to who hits first, I guess. We're going to get Three hits on three hits on the fend guys, and then we get a blitz. We probably can go for this guy. Getting a guard away would be nice. He has wrestle though, but we'll use mighty blow on on one of these. I think we're fine with the setup we have. The foul mm, might use it on on perhaps this blitzer or this blitzer, or if we can get this guy down. But the others, I think he'll get to keep. Not that concerned. We won't foul too much unless we get the free bribe. All right, save this setup. And confirm. Well, there's no free bribe there. A good kick by him. Let's get back here and then try to pick it up on can't afford a Croxy. We can afford a Croxy, but we don't have anyone with agility here. So let's start by trying to get his guys out of this. Yes, of course. The first roll is bad, but we have to re-roll it. And it's a nothing. Now let's take the safer one. Better. And then finally this one. There we go. One armor break. And a knockout. Good. Earth, wind, and fire. Now, we could blitz him. We should blitz him. But first off, let's move one sor source forward. Let's 
keep one Saurus back here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We want to go a little bit further back, I guess. We can move up to there. Let's move this skink over to this side. And maybe Blitz from this side. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six is the plan. Okay, injury please. No. Okay, well that was a dream, but we can't really get it. Let's put a guy out here to pick the skink, and then let's try to pick up. We want it on our three strength, both because we want more SPP for him, and also because he's gonna be the hardest one to knock down for our opponent. But he couldn't pick the ball up. But it's still okay. I'm glad we got rid of one of his linemen. For now. He has the Bloodweiser babe, so we'll probably have to deal with that guy again. Here comes Blitz. Looks like Discomfort is in the danger zone. I'm going to try to get the standings by asking him about it. But uh, he didn't know either. Um, yeah, as I said, the orcs and the dark elves are kind of running away with this division. They... Uh, I think the Dark Elves have two ties and the rest wins. So five wins, six wins now, because they won the game against the uh, Wood Elves. We lost against last week. So they have, I think, six wins and two ties. And the Orcs, we managed to beat the Orcs, but the Orcs have won against everybody else except the Wood Elves, which they've tied against and lost against once each. So they have two losses, one tie, and... That's four wins. Okay, well, he got a knockdown there. No, he got a wrestle. So Mighty Blow didn't work. He took the wrestle rather than the push, so he could move through here. We don't have any Mighty Blows or anything else. It's useful. Oh, stand back up. I will have to blitz here. Maybe I can take this guy down, push him onto Croxy, maybe. Ball's still pretty safe. Let's see if we can break his leader. That would cost him a reroll for the second half. Okay, that's that's good. Looks really good. Um, so Maybe that's uh, worth following. With our sneaky git. I'd like to get rid of another lineman. This is the guy he bought. Dr. Shaka Suli, PhD. And again our Croxigo fails. I don't want to spend all my rerolls on this, but if I don't... Well... <laughs> Oh, we stunned him, so I guess that's good. And the Croxy probably needs a good hit to get uh, get his brain in order, I suppose. Ball is still pretty safe. 
We have a guy to bring down. We can, of course, pull down a couple of guys as well now. Okay, he's gonna knock us down there again. Not using the mic at no this time. He can wrestle. And he's gonna use wrestle. Now his wrestle is not super useful against us. He can do stuff like that to free his guys up. But uh, since we don't have block, he can't really defend himself with wrestle. Because we're not gonna. We're not going to try to use block to knock him down with. <laughs> now, is he planning on fouling us here? Not sure. He only lost two of his linemen. And the third one is in hitting range. But uh, I think he's planning on blitzing Skink somewhere. Can he reach a skink here? He should be able to reach annoying Agama. Okay, now he's blitzing uh, scale fists. No? Okay, we just tied scale for stuff, I suppose. We can uh, we can hit back on that. We didn't make the going for it, and he can wrestle or push. It's gonna push. And stand. Oh, he's gonna take the ball from us. Well, that didn't work. Is that worth a reroll? No. Didn't think. Didn't think it was. Um. Now we can punch him with with uh, our three strength skink here, but before we do that, we should stand up where we can. Here, for instance, then we're gonna put a croxigore somewhere. Uh, that's not too good. He can hit us pretty easily. Maybe I want to go out here with the Crotsy War. Tie this guy up and then hit him. Now, do I want to foul here? I don't know. Could be useful. I want to hit there. But I guess we should do this first. Go an extra ball. And then take the hit here. There we go. Onto the ball could give us a chance to have a thousand in our hands. Hey, there we go. That's our skink. It didn't bounce into our hands. But we could now pick it up here and then run up to line here. I stood here and then fouled. Uh, that's a little bit dangerous. I mean a lot dangerous. Let's do this first. The last lineman. Uh, well, maybe next time. That is to say now. No, it's fine. Still okay. Want to do that hit. The ball is safe again because he's stunned, so we kind of not in a hurry here. Maybe if I hit him and then go over there. Hmm. Didn't quite work. 
still. We'll go over here. This guard guy, one of them is tied up. I have to push this guy away. That way at least he cannot... But I don't want to run in here, because then he can just blitz us from there. No problem. What if I put myself here then? He could hit us, but we could probably... Use the skink. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, that's bad. I don't really know where to go with the ball once I take it. Here, maybe. But he could probably get through there. What if I stood there and foul? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Going for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just gonna stay back here, I think. On this side, I should be safe. He can't reach this far. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, actually, he could. Let's go back here then. Or here. I could run in and foul this guy. But this guy's better. So let's do this. And then go behind here and foul him. That is, what a chance is that? 72%. Not too bad, and if we fail the armor roll, we can't be sent off. And that'll cost him a reroll if we can get rid of him. Boom! And how. So he's gonna pop to carry that. Oh, he joins the substitute, so now we can't get rid of him. Well, it cost him his apothecary. I hate it when they re-roll into no injury at all. Well, we don't have to worry about him for this drive. We have five turns. We've knocked out three people. Definitely going our way so far. Now, what's his plan here? Looks like he's piling another one on here. Two on there. That'll give him a single die. Okay, well, that's why I didn't stand the ball carrier there. Okay, he got it, unfortunately. He can choose. He chooses that one, and he's dead. You know what? I'm not sure I want to reroll that. Sure, he has two levels, but they're bad levels. So I think I'll skip that. I was thinking that that guy didn't, well, that skink, sure we had two levels on him, but they were both levels were standard levels and sidestep and uh, and foul play and they're not really good good things I mean it's fun fouling and it worked in this game once 
but uh, yeah, I think I'd rather have the team value go down and save the apothecary for someone more important. Well, that means we can't foul anymore. You get up. Now we need to sort of build a cage here somewhere. We can hit here. We need to hit this guy, I think. We can hit him. But if I did this, then he would definitely have that corner handled. Maybe if I put a cage here, it could be okay. So which guy do I want to hit then? Probably this guy. So let's see if you want to go up here. No, you don't. Yeah. We'll skip that then. Maybe I want to put the cage up here. Can I get all the way there? Oh no, I can't. It's too going for it. I might be able to, though. Go here instead. Let's him. Rid of him. Yes, very good. And he doesn't have the pot key anymore. So he's gone. Now, this is kind of important. We need to run up there. Two going for us. We have rerolls for this. And this is what we want to use them for. Oh, we failed twice. There was a pretty good chance that we would not fail that twice. And then I wanted to do that hit. Well, the ball is still pretty safe. But we have to pick it up again. And maybe I should have moved my other skinks first. And I wanted to do that hit as well. But I wanted to do that while we had the reroll still. Uh, it didn't help us though. There was two going for it, so it was kind of difficult. At least he only st stunned himself. And this guy's dead. And we got one guy out now, permanently. So we're gonna have 10 versus 10, as it looks now. This guy, these guys wake up. That'll give him a single die. Dauntless. And that worked. Onto the ball, probably. Maybe get a better situation for yourself. Oh no, we don't want any sources. Ball bounces. Um, not loose. Could have been better. Could have landed there. Could have landed there. Ended up in our hands. Could have been worse. It could have landed out here. And that would have been bad. So he can move in here and then hit him then, and then the ball will be free. Dauntless, knockdown. Yeah, because we have uh, we got bonehead here, so not counting anymore. No, I thought he would uh, pull someone in here and uh, he's gonna try to pick it up instead. Use one of his rerolls for that. Hell twice. And the ball bounced favorably for us. Definitely. Okay, well, it's time to bring what skinks we have remaining up here to be able to score. Now, you should activate by hitting this. Then I have this guy could stand down here. Or on him. Maybe yeah, I should have sit there instead. Okay. Well, how far can you get? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It'll be two go for us to get the ball. We need to make this punch. We need to punch this. That's not as important. This is an important punch. Important punch. 
Let's talk properly. This is also kind of important because we want to activate the Croxy War. But I think this one is the first one we'll take. Fair enough. Stay because we don't want to be next to them. Wall is still pretty safe. It could be safer. Um, you're in an okay position, actually. No, don't pick the ball up, silly. You're not going to be able to do that. You stand there. I don't think he can push us away. Now, next we want to knock this guy down. Or at the very least push him. Okay, that's good. Moving up there. Hold on. Now we can do two going for his sort of pickup. But before we do that, we want to do our punches. This one, so we can activate the Croxigore. And also possibly get rid of one of his blockers. And tie up the other. Now this will free this guy up unless we break his neck. And we did. Temporarily. Dislocated perhaps. Large line Wilson. And uh, I think we tried the two going for it into pick up. See that's how you do it. That's much better. Mm, unfortunately he can hit us now. There's not much we can do about it. But, uh, actually, would that help? If I don't do that, he just moves these guys in and hit us from here. But, uh, I kind of wish I'd stood there. When, when I did it, I was thinking and I thought, well, I should have stood there instead. I don't know why I went to the side there. There's nothing to protect over here. The ball's always going to be up here. But now he can dodge out here and hit us with a two die. He has one reroll left. If he doesn't manage to get up here this turn. Okay, he can do that, of course. Hit us there. And then blitz us from here. <coughs> Ah, knockout on one of the switches. Okay. Not reroll ready. And now we can blitz us with this guy. At least then he won't have block on us. Maybe we can dodge. He wants to push him this way. Yes, that's a dodge. Unless he rerolls. Pick the skull. No, he took it. Took another chance at it. It would have been worthwhile if he could knock us down there. Right, so now we can punch these guys off and then run. He's gonna try to get Dauntless. But oh, he managed. I was gonna say it's only a uh, 67 to get Dauntless there. But he got it. Single die with Dauntless or try to dodge. Try to dodge, failed it. Yes. This is good. So I want to stop these guys from moving up on us. So I'm going to stand here. I believe that will be good. The idea here is to push this guy this way and then run this way. Push this guy off there, push this guy off there, and then run. If we can get a knockdown, all the better. So I probably don't want to stand there. I do want to stand there though. Because that'll stop him later on. I'm not sure am I gonna take that hit or not. 
Let's start by doing this. Uh, that'll be a wrestle or a push. I'll take the push. Then we'll have this. Yes, we got him. That means you can stay there. And now, run along. Little one. He can reach you, but he, he will be... Uh, Dodging twice to do it, and he has no rerolls left. I also have a blitz. I could try to blitz here. Might as well, right? Um. Well, that'll stop him, right? He can't get up here now. So it looks like we're going to have uh, touchdown at least. Well, that's a shame. Let's use the reroll. We don't have anything much else going on right now. And we don't want this guy to get injured. Probably won't need the reroll. Unless he manages to get closer to us. Of course we want to score. Well, we're not going to have a choice. We're going to have to give him two chances to wake his guys up. So th these guys are definitely going to be in the second half. That's not a big concern though, they're linemen. Uh, we definitely want two chances to wake up for Hot Rocks. And can this guy one turn us? I don't think that's a major threat. He has seven move at his best. And he's gonna have ten players at the most. No frenzy, no sidestep, anything that could help. Well, Question is, how do we manage to stall here so uh, we can score on turn 8 instead of turn 7? 5, 6. We can get up there, but he would have a chance. And he's gonna blitz us there. Only a push, though. And then he can move up. A little bit. Alright, let's check this out. He could blitz us. And he could blitz us. So I want to knock him down. Four, five, six. I can't get a three die on him. I'd like to take that punch. You can... Uh, Oh, you can't do much. Just stand up on this guy, if you can. Alright, no. Uh, that's in the wrong wrong uh, square, but never mind. So, I'd like you to be there. And then I'd blitz him from there to here. Hopefully. Can this guy reach us? He can. I can free one of these guys up.
He can't reach all the way out. But he could, even from there, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We don't have a reroll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. Maybe what I do is I stand here and then I blitz from here. What about him though? Well, if I stand here... And then move up to the edge, then I commit to not scoring here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. You have to do two dodges. And he has no reels left either. And uh, that's our turn. Couldn't manage to get him in on him. Fortunate, but he has a chance to reach us if he dodges through here, right? One, two. Three, four, five, six. No, not with him. Or maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, two going for it. He does that. Knocks him down. Don't follow. Gets the knockdown. He could definitely do it. Well, he didn't get Dauntless, but he got the knockdown. That's kind of lucky, but uh, unlucky that he didn't get Dauntless. So two going for us to hit us here. Maybe I blew this. No, he fine. Right. Phew. He's stunned. We're not gonna hit anybody, right? Right. Where are we? No. No, we're not. We're scoring. And we're leveling up. Good. Maybe I can uh, turn him into another Fowler. Well, he's dead. And he's not waking up, but we have another chance. These guys are waking up. No, not yet. Hmm. Okay, well... I'm gonna put... some of my guys on the line. Should I put my best guys on the line? I don't know. I'm definitely putting these guys as far back as I can. Well, not as far back as I can, but as far back as I need to. Come on now, you know what I mean. Let's get a little bit tighter like this. Let's keep our level up guy in the back. I wanted the uh, I have Croxigor here to assist. That way he can't get a two die. Oh, uh, of course he yeah, can. He has one guard left. He lost his other guard, which is great for us. And the kick, he didn't set up to hit us, 
I wonder if you missed that this is turn 8. Maybe he was uh, hoping for Riot. Ooh, nice catch. Looks like he's blitzing out here. Now he won't need Dauntless. He lost his mighty blow, so that's something. Fail Dauntless, but you don't need it. So no need to reroll that. And I don't think you'll have enough to hit anyone else. You can throw a past him. And there it is, with catch, no problem. Now he has a plus two but a minus one. I think he should have stood him there actually and then ran around. He could have gotten two die. But he didn't need the two die, he knocked us down with a single. And injured us. Well that's unfortunate and first half. So I apothecary that to get him back. Yes. Uh, so, as you can see, out for the game turns into join the substitutes, even though the reroll was loose armor value. That means we're gonna have a full team of sources, maybe if this guy wakes up. And he might fail his an another wake up. want to win this game and since we have the lead here getting our sources back was key okay he woke up and maybe I wouldn't have needed it and ah one of the guys actually stayed out that's unlucky for him two two chances to wake up with one bloodwise babe should mean you wake up two players okay well this time we should uh, set up a little bit differently These guys need to be up here. Well, actually, I think I'll pull in a little bit. I don't want to be locked up too far out. He has two players out. We have one player out. Hmm. I think I'll go like this. That way our skinks are safe and we can pull these guys over to whichever side he decides to go on. It'll make it more difficult for him to go through us if we stand out here. But he still has Dauntless and uh, Blitzers that can go far enough. So he can definitely pu push through on one of the sides. And then the guy on the other side would be too far away to get there. It'd need two turns to get there, and that might be too late. Shorehands guy is gonna pick the ball up. He got his. Uh... Oh, we killed this guy, but he got back because he used the boss carry. So he did put more guys on this side. I'm gonna favor the other side a little bit. And we get an extra reroll. Good long kick too. Not on the side I aimed for, but I'll take that hit, that kick.
Take a sip of water there. I had, uh, was intended to drink soda, but I forgot the soda, so I have a glass full of ice here that I drink out of when it melts. Preparation fail. Right, so he is making a cage. And then he's going to blitz Phibius. He doesn't feel he needs a back of the cage there. Might be right about that. This guy is now useless for him. Not useless, but he uh, he don't doesn't need him on the field anymore. So he doesn't need protecting him in this game. Down with Dauntless. Alright, looks like he's gonna pull everybody over to that side. Not sure if I should do the same. The problem with these guys is you don't want to stand next to them because of Dauntless. Oh, we failed Shorehands. That is unfortunate for him. Well, you stand up, and I'll get this guy over here. How far can I get over here? Uh, assuming I knock this guy down, I could get all the way up there, but I don't want to stand next to these guys. Maybe I could get Croxy up there, and then another guy there. That could help. So let's try to knock this guy down. Um, not super good. I guess we take this hit then. Not super good. Fen has bested us this day. He could move another guy in and hit us. But that'll sort of wreck his intended cage here. We want to blitz him with the Croxy, actually. Maybe. We'll stand here, make it difficult for this guy to dodge out. I'll bring a skink up on this side. Pull one skink to here somewhere around. And this skink can hang out back here. And where do I want to put you? I kind of want to stop him from going to the other side, but he can't really do that right now, can he? Okay, do that. It's a little bit risky if this uh, Crocs board decides to be stupid now. But uh, he didn't. Now well, we only hope that he doesn't know skulls. Uh, well, we can't really do all that, so we'll have to take it. I'll follow. He might be able to pile on on us and get the knockdown, but that'll cost him at least two people. Okay, I'm decently satisfied with this. He could file out here with a couple of guys. There's a gap in between our tackle cells. And then maybe make a cage over there, but that'll cut at least some of his players off. Well, he's gonna try to stop the rest of us from going forward.
Yes, tie up every Saurus, looks like. But we have one extra player here. Tie up a skink, that doesn't work quite as well because they have dodge. Alright. He's just gonna tie up everybody, it look, looks like. Except this guy. Oh no, he's blitzing our strength skink. Just a push though, thankfully. Okay, well if he puts him there, then he's not as likely to dodge out of it. Now, where do you go with Wall now? Hmm. Not sure hands work this time. Failed to pick up again, but in the second attempt he did it. Hopeless, single die, push. Well, I could do something fancy here to get a hit in on this ball carrier. But it would sacrifice two of our skinks. Knock him down. Can I get reach him? One, two, three, four, five, six. Not quite. I could reach him. We're going for it. Oh, he got Dauntless there. Still he has to push. He's definitely not pushing us free. He's not pushing us to there, is he? Well, if he follows, I guess it's okay. Right, what I was talking about is I could run this skink in here, cancel these two guys out, then hit from here on this uh, lineman. If it's a knockdown, then this guy's free to four, five, six. Actually, he doesn't need to go in for it to hit the ball carrier. Now, do we want to be that aggressive? I could also free this guy up. Move up there by hitting here instead of there. But I kind of want to take all these hits and go with that. We have an extra reroll. So let's go with that plan. But you can move first. And I think I want to move you backwards. Maybe I want to hit this guy first then. Okay, well that's not good enough. Right, but now you can move here. That'll bring you into a good position for later. Now where do I put you? Probably also for later, right? Okay, let's do this first. You go there. I'm gonna do that next. See what I get out of it. Um, I just keep these guys in reserve. I don't really know where to put them. But I want them to be centralized so they can reach anywhere. And then you take this hit. Well, that's definitely not what we need. Oh, come on. That's kind of unlucky. And we injured ourselves. And of course, since we used our body carry, he's gonna get a real injury. Well, it's impossible to protect the three strength skin commander. That's too bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. We could have blitzed him right away there. But now he's gonna be free to move, and he can free other guys up. Niggling on a skink, not the best, and we're not going to have him against the dwarves. But I think I'll keep him 
still. We already have to replace the other skink. I guess we're gonna have like 10k. Not 10k. Uh, uh, 1000 team value again after this game. Oh, there goes handbag material. The latest addition to the skink army. At least he's still alive. And now these guys can create a cage out here. We have our spares to handle it. And I guess we could dodge one out. It's a shame that we didn't get to do all the hits we wanted to do. Oh well, even more of a shame that we didn't get to hit his walk area. And there he goes. Yes. Cage. And now he can get a plus one here to use Dauntless. Plus one strength, meaning a two die. Uh, actually, well, if he hits the Croxy, he can do it. Because the Croxy gives plus one as well. <laughs> And he got Dauntless again on a 3 plus eh? Just a push though. That's uh... Ooh, Dauntless fail. That means he rolls skulls. Does he reroll that? Oh, come on. He got enough down with, with the red dice. sure we can stop him. We can try to knock this guy down. We have to use skinks, I suppose. It's gonna take another hit out there. He can definitely not get a two die. Oh, I see. Well, he could dodge away from our prehensile tail, of course. So if you fail that, you free one of our guys out. And you knock yourself out. Well, that's good for us. Now they are too far away, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And maybe they can get down here to catch up with them later. I could try to knock him down and then I can move this guy a little bit as well. But it's gonna have to be these two and perhaps him that create something here. I think what I want to do is blitz this guy, knock him down, have him there, and then put a skink in front there, and another skink here. That way he can only get a single eye on us. Let's move the skink first, and then do the blitz. It needs to be a knockdown, otherwise he is just going to get out of this quite easily. So reroll that. Okay, there we go. If he's stunned, that would be perfect, but he's not. Okay, so I want the other skink to go there, so I'm going to knock this guy out first. Or knock him away. Down is what happen. And out. Yes. There he goes, the new guy. He's just badly hurt now. Then you stand there so he can't get a plus one die here. That means, well, he could try to blitz us here. That would be, even with Dauntless, that would be a single die. Plus one, minus one. 
And then he couldn't get forward anyway, because he can't hit the skinks. Alright, let's see if we can get this guy a little bit closer, and perhaps that guy. So, let's see if we can free this guy up. No. Well, we still might be able to hit him this way. Right. I don't know why I pushed him down there, but that's okay. So you go, let's see, here. That way this guy can't get past us. And then let's try to free up. It doesn't matter which one we free up, so let's try to free up uh, this guy up here. Uh, Oxygor fail. We already used our reroll, so down you go. So he needs to tie us up there. We knocked out four of his players, and we only have two out. But he has the ball, and it looks kind of dangerous. Oh, he's blitzing there, and then maybe he's just dodging around us? Oh, good. Didn't go down. Still have two rerolls on him. So he's free to move. He's tying these two up, but... Whoever he leaves open can move. Oh, maybe he's gonna pass to him. He made the dodge. Missed the dodge. He made it. Is the pass gonna be good? One, two, three, four, five, six. We can still reach him. Going for it, still hasn't used his reroll. The pass is the tricky part, I believe it's the 50% here. Yes, it is, and he rolled inaccurate, which he probably will reroll. No, he took the inaccurate and it almost bounced into his hands. Well, that's a turnover, unfortunately. Okay, well, this turned ugly quick. You need to tie him up. You are going to blitz here with one going for it. Now, how, how close can you get? Not as close as I would like. I could try one dodge to get a little bit closer. But it's not really good. Can you stand there? Then I can hit him. Maybe I should not tie myself up here. You go this way. From there you can reach wherever next turn. One going for it. Can we do that? For me. Come on now. He did the going for it and he got the knockdown as a bonus. Splendid. And Ooh. armor break, that's perfect. Okay, I couldn't have wished for more. I could have wished for more, but uh, why would I? Okay, let's push this guy. Come on, don't, don't fail me now. That means you don't have to dodge. Was probably a wasted roll. Uh, we are in the lead, right? Yes. Okay. So 
this blitzer. I guess this is more important right now. Push him up there. Stay. That means you can go next time and we'll move down there. And then maybe this as well. Very good. You stay as well. Beautiful. Yes, we got rid of the the tackle guy and he's gonna miss the next game. So, yeah, let's just kill both our teams so the top two guys don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I, he doesn't think they... Or, he already thinks they don't have to worry. Well, knockout on... Egg dude here was good because otherwise he would just blitzed us, could have gotten a knockdown, and then he could have uh, picked the ball up and scored. Instead, he's gonna blitz there with a single die and then try to dodge through, pick it up, and score. Oh, come on now! Oof, well, he has a reroll for that. Made two 50 percenters. And he scored. Oh well. That is very unfortunate. But we have a few tires, I think. Those three aren't getting back. Those three were. Oh, he's. Well, he has the worst blood wise babe ever. So he's going to be playing with six players. We have four turns to score. We have nine players. Only two skinks. And they have to pick the ball up. Yeah. Well, we're gonna have to be slightly aggressive so we can move forward quickly. Only one reroll to do this with. Four turns. We can move pretty far, so we don't have to worry that much. He's going for the hit later style of defense. We want to try to hit these guys, I believe. But it's more important, actually, that we get the ball right now. So let's spread out so we have both sides covered. We don't want him to be able to blitz through us, so I think we're fine on that. Let's use let's use block to get this guy. And let's use Croxigore on the guy on the edge. Can we get a triple for the Croxy? We need two more then. Maybe we should use Croxy in the middle and get a triple. And then take Lock on the guy and end, even though he has wrestle. Okay. Let's go with that. Changing weather. Good kick. We want to pick it up, and we can pick it up with either. You've leveled up, so you're pretty good right now. Let's try to score on you then. We want more levels on one skink. I'm gonna move this skink up to here. Then we're gonna take the hits. Safest first. Thank you. 
Ooh. Another armor break. So don't have to worry about him. That was good. I think I want to, let's see, one, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The goal is to get a skink up to here. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, to here. So we kind of want to uh, sort of build a cage up here. I'm going to bring a few sources upfield so we can uh, start owning this area. Triple die, knockdown, mighty blow. Knockouts. Thank you. Well, it would be a shame if we didn't win this now. We definitely have the players' advantage. I should try to hit this guy now. Four. We could get perhaps. Let's bring another guy up here. Not yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. So if I go here, I should be completely safe. Don't fail to pick up. Sorry. Did I say something? Okay, there we go. Now we want to knock this guy down. But... Can you go between us here? No. Okay, so you should go here then. So this guy can't reach us if we should knock ourselves out here. Fine. We don't have... we haven't blitzed yet, so we might as well blitz here, so we can reposition ourselves. Well, that's not great. Let's go... let's go up here. That'll continue this sort of uh, extra line up here, and then also prevent him from dodging out. He could blitz us there and then try to run this guy down. I think we have good control of the field. I'm gonna take a sip of my melted ice here. Now, if we get this chance to score on turn 14, no, probably not 14, but if we get this chance to score on turn 15, should we take it and allow him a chance to score back on us? Well, he can't get a knockdown. Let's go move up there. No, he's going to stay back. Fair enough. So at this point, I would like to... Oh, dodge, dodge. He's already blessed, so he can't bless us. Even if he were the best dodger who ever lived. And he's not... That's not worth a reroll. Yep. True. Now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we put up a cage around here, and then brought. Can you get up to that cage? Not quite. So you should probably be here then. I don't want to touch him. He's filthy. I don't know where he's been. If I were to blitz somebody... Okay, can you get up there? Do I want the cage there? 
I guess I want to cage it there. Right, so it's decided. The cage is going right here. Am I then putting extra sources up there? Let's see one of these guys, definitely. So I want to put that source here. Okay, so I think we blitz him. Should bring this skink up somewhere. Let's put the skink there. If he just blitzes the skink, that's no problem. Push this guy out. Fine. You can use Dauntless to get us back. That'll cut that guy off a little bit. And yeah. Okay, so his plan is to dodge in here and hit the skink head. Or maybe his plan is to make us roll a failed hit on one of them. Now there's the dodge. 17 percenter. Oh no, he rolled a 6! <laughs> and then he rolled double skulls. And got only a push. Well, that's one way to fail that move. Okay, well, well, this got a little bit more difficult. We can't score from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, well, we could, but we can go. We need a going for it. <laughs> so, how can we make this happen safely? We need to roll some two die hits, of course. There's nothing we can do about that. Can't hit all of these guys. Question is if it's if it's better to I could blitz myself. Mm, no, no. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I could try to push myself up here and score quicker. It is the safest guy to hit with. Well, I'll take that. At least that takes care of that guy. And now I can hit this guy from here and I get a push. If you push this guy away. It's not safe though, that's for sure, but what else can we do? We have to hit him. We could dodge, of course. That's a one in nine of succeeding. That is actually better. Because we get to reroll and dodge. This hit is also a one in 
one in nine, but it's uh, some of those we still have to make a dodge or make another hit. Dodge is better to win the game with, but if we fail it, can we recover? We should definitely move this guy first. If we drop the ball out here, we might have a chance to still score with this one. Okay, let's go for it. Oof, he had to use dodge, but he made it. Okay, so we're gonna have another kickoff, and if it's a riot, and we still have a game going. And he gets another chance to wake up two of these guys. Three of these guys, and they all woke up this time. Now he means business. Right, so how do we set up here? He has a one turn. One turn left. It's gonna let's assume that it turns into a two turn. If it's if it's a one turn, then uh, then we're probably fine. He's not gonna one turn us. So let's have some guys back here in defense. He can have the hits on the line, all he wants. He can sure, surely make a few pushes happen. But something like this, I think, is what we want to go for. Well, all, all I'm wishing for now is not a riot on the kickoff event. A riot, of course, adds one turn when it happens on the last turn. It can be either lose one turn both for both teams or add one turn for both, both teams. It happens not on the first and the last. If it happens on the first, it can only be lose a turn. If it happens on the last, it can only be gain a turn. And that will sometimes cause what looks to be a sure win, an impossible one-turner, into a pretty easy two-turner because the other guy is not expecting it and setting up all his guys back here or something. He's setting up for the riot, I, I guess. He also realized it was his own chance, or maybe uh, I clued him into it. Okay, I just don't want him to get a free pick up here. I want him to roll as many dice as possible. Quick snap. Well, that is the second best one you can get for a one turner. But uh, now he cannot do it because he didn't set up. And we won because we broke armor a lot. So he is going to have one hit on us here. No. Oh, uh, this is the free step. Right.
Ooh, nice bounce. Uh, free pickup. And the wrestle. We could have not wrestled there and tried to get a hit, but I guess uh, it would be more of a chance of him getting on the break. So he can also blitz with one of these guys. He's already leveled up Mr. Luxury Yacht here. So he's probably going. Oh, he's going to use him again, I suppose. And this is their last armor break possibility, unless he fouls over here. Which he might. After all, we are uh, contending for the third spot, both of us. So. Actually hurting the other player would be beneficial here. Maybe I should try to foul as well. Wow, <laughs> that, that pass went backwards. Never seen that before. Okay. We still have a turn. Let's hit the lineman, shall we? With a blitz. We don't have anything but the Blitz. Who needs 2 SVP? Raise your fist. Scale fist. Well, you'd have to do a going for it. Uh, Phibius, you do. So... Two... We can get... We can't get... Triple die. So you get one SVP here. Almost. And I should foul here, but uh, I'm not going to because I need this guy to beat the orc guy. Let's just see if he has already played him. Oh, he doesn't remember. I think he does. He has it though. Uh, does anyone need one SPP here? Not really. I guess you. So let's bring you up there. Who would mind you not hurting them? Okay. Well, there's the missed pass. Missed pickup. The pass would have probably missed as well. Okay, so we got another win for us, and uh, that means we have three wins, one tie, four losses. Still not anything that I would expect to get third place. Two games to go, Dwarves and then the top-ranked Dark Elves. Roll the three. We could use a little bit more cash. We're still gonna have enough to get one Skink. So let's give away 10,000 for no reason at all. And some fan factor. His uh, lineman got MVP, his new guy. And Annoying Agama got MVP. So he's gonna level up almost twice, but definitely once. Let's hope he gets something better than, than its standard. 14 armor breaks versus 6, that's uh, the difference right there. A little bit more successful blocks. And also, I guess his armor breaks were kind of better than ours, but he hit skinks and they break. On six armor breaks, he had one 
one knockout, two injuries, and one kill. And two stuns then, I guess. Uh, right. We had uh, three knockouts, three injuries on 15. Was it? 14. SPP wise, Annoying Agama cleaned house. He scored both our touchdowns and got MVP on top of that. Scalefist, Viltang, and Common Komodo. I don't think any of them leveled up. And now we have to wait for confirmation so we can actually check what happened to our team. What was it? Scalefist, Common Komodo, and Wild Tongue. Yeah, none of them leveled up. We're on four out of six on lots of our sources. And we're not gonna have any level up for the sources. Yet. It's almost difficult to play 10 games without leveling up more than one Saurus, but we've managed. Flea Licker is dead. That's 19 SPP down the drain. They were almost already down the drain because we only got general level ups. Annoying and is gonna get a new level up. If he can get something good, that's probably gonna be useful. And probably gonna get a new flea liquor, that's a pretty good name. Comparatively. Um, yeah, but that's it for this game. Uh, I will handle the level ups between games and then I'll come back and show you what happened before the next game in a week. We are playing against the dwarves, we can at least check that. Uh, it's registered here, but yes, we're playing in Snow White Rejects, which is the dwarf team. And then on the final game, we're playing the Nagarothian Wishes, who are the top ranked Dark Elf team. But maybe he will already be uh, through to the next round, and it's random. Maybe we can talk him into uh, losing on purpose so we can have a better chance of reaching the next round so tell him that uh, he should want uh, this low ranked lizard team to go up there instead of someone else who might be a threat to him hmm I'm not sure we can uh, can uh, spin that but we can try of course I now told everybody about my plans on a video that I'll post on YouTube so it will definitely not work uh, let's see, uh, Bone Jaw Clan. Yeah, he's playing them in the last game, so uh, if he can, if he could beat them there, it'd be really good for us. I believe Bone Jaw Clan. Oh, they're playing the dwarves. That could be interesting. I'm not sure exactly when it'll happen, but that'll happen then. Whenever it does. Uh, for the next game I will also definitely uh, have a better look at how the standings are so I can tell you guys. If you're just following my channel. You can probably find it if you go to the GOBBLN page. Homepage. And the forums there. This is not accurate. But the work has lost two straight games. He lost against us and then he lost against... And the Dark Elves. So we might be able to catch up to the Orc if he keeps having a bad run of it. Right, well. So this is going to be it for this game. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, you can check out my other Blood Bowl videos if you haven't. There's, uh, I played a series with Bretonians. I played a series with... Lizard men, and I'm currently playing Chaos in the Open League, trying to learn the game better and sharing what knowledge I already have learned. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you back for our ninth game against the Dwarves. It's not 
necessarily going to be boring to play dwarves, but um, uh, if we're lucky, then the orc have uh, wrecked them, so they're really weak when we play them. But then again, we want them to win against the orc. Uh, we will see what happens. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again next time.